Hello everyone, uh, I had a patient come in the other day. The question was, what is, and can you explain to me the difference in all these fatty acids? Which one is good, which one's bad? What is saturated fat? What's unsaturated fat? Then what's monounsaturated fat? What's polyunsaturated fat? And what is trans fat versus cyst? Good fat, bad fat. What the hell is going on with these fatty acids? And are they good for us? Everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, three things. One, hit the like button. Two, subscribe button. And three, leave a comment or even leave a question. Let me know if you like this video or if you don't like this video. If you don't like this video, please leave a comment on why. We always want to know why don't you like the video no matter how good it is. So I had a question, question come in and say, can you explain the differences between good fats and bad fats? Okay, so when it comes down to fat, fat is good for us. We need fat. We need the avocado fat. We need the olive oil fat. We need the coconut fat. We need these good fats. Remember, because the body is made up of two things, one proteins and two fatty acids. Fatty acids, the fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K are needed for just the state, just to keep your body stable. In addition, fat, good fat, fatty acids, are needed to make cholesterol. So yes, cholesterol is good for us. We need cholesterol because cholesterol has over 300 functions of the body. So when you're on a low fat diet and or a bad fat diet, yeah, it's going to really affect your system. So when I talk with patients, my first thing is always diet, diet, diet. Let's clean up the fat, the bad fat. Let's get the good fat in there so your body can be more resourceful. So when it comes to fats and fatty acids, okay, I'll use those words interchangeable. We have two different types of fats, but also two, three subsets. So we have saturated fats and unsaturated fats, but when it comes to the unsaturated fats, we have monounsaturated fat, polyunsaturated fat, and trans fat, which bar, bar none, trans fat is the worst for you. It's poison. That's your partially hydrogenated oil. So when it comes to fat, fat is made of, again, three different, it's made of three fatty acids. The main fat that we talk about is triglycerides. Triglyceride, that is the main component of fat. And it's made of glycerol and three fatty acid chains. Now, when I'm doing blood labs and the main, when the cholesterol is elevated, the main thing I look at is your triglycerides. Why? Because triglycerides, the main form of fat, if that's elevated, that's because you're on a bad diet. That's your ho-hos, that's your ding-dongs, that's the long johns, that's the crap. So if your cholesterol numbers are within limits, normal limits, and your triglycerides are real high above 200 and so forth, okay, what are you eating? Because triglyceride, that's the, me that's the measure of blood fat in your system. So what's going on? What's the going on with these fatty acids? So the fatty acids are made of long chains of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. And the main difference is, is it a single bond or a double bond? Does it have a little kink in it? Because the, the single bonds and the double bonds determine what type of fat it is. Now, when it comes down to fats, let's start off with the saturated fat. Okay, now just a note here, there's different resources that say saturated fat, that's bad for you. Saturated fat makes you fat. Unsaturated fat doesn't make you fat. Okay, I learned that long time ago as well, but the research lately is really, there's no different types, like a good, bad, right, or wrong. It's just that trans fat, that is bar none bad. So when it comes to the different types of fat, let's start with the saturated fatty acids. Now, saturated fatty acids have no double bonds between the carbon atoms. So what that does, it makes it very stable. So there's, all carbon atoms are saturated with hydrogen atoms. It's an, usually a linear formation. It's very stable, usually solid. This is solid at room temperature. They have a high melting point and the benefits of saturated fat increases overall all cholesterol levels. Your LDL, your HDL, the particle size. Now remember, cholesterol, we need it. It is good for us. 
So, but also do everything in moderation. So what happens is that the benefit, it works with the unsaturated fat, fatty acid to prevent heart attacks and stroke because again, remember we need cholesterol for the body to work. Now the best source is always organic, grass-fed butter, grass-fed beef, grass-fed pork, eggs, coconut oil. Because what it does, it is loaded with what's called short-chain fatty acids and short-chain fatty acids are good for the gut. So next, let's go, let's go over to unsaturated fatty acids. Unsaturated fatty acids, let's go to the first one, mono. The monounsaturated, monounsaturated fatty acid has one set of double bonds. MUFA for short, monounsaturated fatty acids. Now, there's different configurations. It all depends on where the, where the double bond is. Is it in a kink formation? This is your cyst. Cis, there's cyst and there's trans. Cyst, you can see the formation. Okay, the hydrogen atoms are on the same side and they have a bend of formation. Now, this is the second most stable. The first, again, remember the first most stable is the saturated. The second most stable is the mono unsaturated fatty acid. Now, this is liquid at room temperature. So the, remember, the saturated fat, that's like your butter. Monounsaturated, this is your oils. Okay, particularly olinic acid, very good for us. And this has a lower melting point and the benefits, similar to saturated fatty acids, again, helps balance out cholesterol levels. The sources of the monounsaturated fatty acids is this is your olive oil, this is your avocados, this is your eggs, grass-fed eggs, organic eggs, and almonds. So you got the saturated fat and you got the, you got the monounsaturated fatty acids. Let's talk about the other one. Okay, so let's talk about the polyunsaturated fatty acids and the deadliest of them all, that's trans fat. So when it comes to the polyunsaturated fatty acids, otherwise known as PUFAs, okay, it, it, polyunsaturated, which means that it has more than one double bond, it is in the cis conformation because the hydrogen atoms are on the same side. Now, they're least stable, they're liquid at room temperature, but they come solid when chilled. Now let's break it down even more because you got the polyunsaturated fatty acids, which breaks it down to the essential fatty acids. There's omega sixes, threes, nines. There's a lot of them, depending on where, the, where they're located on the double carbon bond. I don't want to get into that right now, but let's just break it down to the two main essential fatty acids that we talk about, and that's omega threes and omega sixes. Now omega three fatty acids, these are anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 fatty acids, those are pro-inflammatory, which means they cause inflammation. And remember, the body needs to be in a cycle. So it has to be inflamed in order to, to be anti-inflamed. But you need to have a balance of a ratio. So when it comes down to the omega-3 fatty acids, you break it down to even two other subcategories. I'm gonna murder it if I say the real name. It's EPA and DHA. Now EPA, I've done videos on this before, EPA is good for systemic inflammation. Overall inflammation, EPA is phenomenal. The DHA, that's good for inflammation of the brain and the eyes. And krill oil is loaded in DHA. But if you want an overall fish oil, definitely omega-3 fatty acids fish oil is always good to, to take in general. Now the problem is, omega-6 fatty acids, pro-inflammatory, they're loaded in the processed vegetable oils and fried food. Now everything's in moderation. You want a ratio. I always recommend the ratio to be, try to bring down the omega-6 as many as you can and stabilize to balance out the six to threes. I always prefer a ratio of one to one, possibly. The standard American diet, the last time I checked, was 16 to one, meaning it's 16 omega-6 fatty acids to one omega-3. Grain, wheat, wheat, gluten, dairy, that's loaded in omega-6. That's why we're just big balls of inflammation. So you want to do your best to lower the omega-6 fatty acid intake and increase the omega-3 fatty acids to keep your body nice and stable because the benefits of polyunsaturated fatty acids is it works with the saturated fatty acids to, to stabilize the system. Now let's talk about the worst. Trans fat, otherwise known as partially hydrogenated oil. Trans fat meaning that the configuration is in a trans configuration. Yes, there's at least one double bond, but however, the reason why it's a trans is because the hydrogen atoms are on the opposite side. 
otherwise known as partially hydrogenated oil. So the thing is, it's, it's solid room temperature, which again, it goes through a process called hydrogenation. Industrial pro produced oils used in highly processed foods. This is cheaply made. Now in the early 80s, margarine, this big margarine campaign, made it sound like butter was bad. But what's butter? Grass-fed butter, Kerrygold. It's saturated fatty acids, which is good for you. It's good for the gut. It's good for overall systemic inflammation. Short-chain fatty acids. But what they do? They said, no, that's bad. Let's do margarine. But what's margarine? Trans fats. What does trans fat do? Causes overall inflammation. Causes an intensive damage to the blood vessels inside the, the, inside the arterial wall. Increases cholesterol, increases the chance of heart disease. Where is it found? Processed foods, cheap, fast foods, margarine, fried foods. This is why when I'm working with my patients, watch what you're eating. Now again, I just wanna make this nice and basic and I hope, this, I hope this clears up a lot of confusion because when you're dealing with the dietary fats, what's healthy fat and what's bad fat, it's very confusing. But if you just break it into small categories, and just understand that, if anything, that the trans fat, all the processed food, fast food, margarine is horrible for you. Okay, so you eliminate that confusion, less work on the saturated and the unsaturated fatty acids to better your health. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Please hit the like button. Please share with a friend. And I'll see you in the next video. Be good.